Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to the Esther Song of Praise channel. I hope that you all are having an amazing weekend. If you're new here, welcome. What I like to do is share a bit of my thoughts, and then we go into a brief prayer, just asking the Lord to bless us with wisdom as we cover the chapter. Speaking of the chapter and the wisdom that we're gonna receive from the Lord, we're continuing on with the book of Proverbs, chapter 26 today. And the Lord just reminded me th just these past couple of days of, you know, not only who I am, but whose I am. And we belong to the almighty creator of the universe. And it's truly a blessing. Like the song that's playing in the background is called The Gift of Morning. And it is such a beautiful, blessed gift to wake our to wake up every day, to open our eyes and to experience, you know, a new morning. That's a blessing that many people did not receive even today. So with that being said, you know, go make the most of your day. And with yeah, please be sure to like share and subscribe to the channel it really helps the algorithm um, when you guys hit the thumbs up button so with that being said let's go ahead and get started heavenly father we thank you so much lord for every single day that you bless us with morning by morning new mercies we see we thank you for the gift of grace we thank you for your love and we thank you for what you're doing in our lives changing us to be more like you every single day Father, we ask that you will bless us with wisdom, Lord, out of this chapter today, Father, that you will just continuously change our hearts and our minds to be more pure. Lord, we need a blessed touch from you, Father. We need you to continuously help mold us to your image, Lord God. We thank you and we praise you. We ask that you would encourage anyone out there who's struggling right now, Lord, wrap your arms around them, Father, and we just ask that you would encourage them, Lord God. Let them know that you will help them through each trial and tribulation, Father. We thank you and we praise you, Lord. Give us wisdom from your chapter today. In Jesus' name, amen. The book of Proverbs, chapter 26. Like snow in summer or rain in harvest, honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a fluttering sparrow or a darting swallow, an undeserved curse does not come to rest. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the backs of fools. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, or you yourself will be just like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, or he will be wise in his own eyes. Sending a message by the hands of a fool is like cutting off one's feet or drinking poison. Like the useless legs of one who is lame is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Like tying a stone in a sling is giving, on, is giving of honor to a fool. Like a thorn bush in a drunkard's hand is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Like an archer who wounds at random is one who hires a fool or any passerby. As a dog returns to its vomit, so fools repeat their folly. Do you see a person wise in their own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for them. A sluggard says, there's a lion in the road, a fierce lion roaming the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so a sluggard turns on his bed. A sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He is too lazy to bring it back to his mouth. A sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven people who answer discreetly. Like one who grabs a stray dog by the ears is someone who rushes into a quarrel not their own. Like a maniac shooting flaming arrows of death is one who deceives their neighbor and says, I was only joking. Without wood, a fire goes out. Without a gossip, a quarrel dies down. As charcoal to embers and as wood to fire, so is a quarrelsome person for kindling strife. The words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to the inmost parts. Like a coating of silver dross 
on earthenware are fervent lips with an evil heart. Enemies disguise themselves with their lips, but in their hearts they harbor deceit. Though their speech is charming, do not believe them. For seven abominations fill their hearts. Their malice may be concealed by deception, but their wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. If someone rolls a stone, it will roll back on them. A lying tongue hates those it hurts, and a flattering mouth works ruin. May the Lord bless the reading of his word today. So there are so many gems within this chapter, right? Verse 12 is one of my favorites. Um, that's why I put it separately, where it says, Do you see a person wise in their own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for them. So basically, arrogance is oftentimes people's downfall, right? There's a scripture that says, you know, pride cometh before the fall, but humility comes before honor. And so when someone is, you know, arrogant and narcissistic and believe that they know everything, there's no getting through to that person. And, and oftentimes, you know, time will reveal their their true character. So it's like, you know, don't worry about, you know, casting your pearls before swine or don't even let it upset you. Just know that the Lord knows and you just have to pray for people like that and keep it moving. Um, another, you know, verse 13 um, through 16 talks about, you know, being lazy. And that's one thing that I love about, you know, the Proverbs is that it lays everything out so simplistically, right? Um, but here it talks about, you know, the, the sluggard saying that there's a lion in the street, <laughs> which is, of course, you know, metaphorically just saying that they're coming up with pretty much any excuse um, not to get their work done, right? Uh, a lion in the street is just it's so comical because, you know, how how rare is that, right? Um, and so verse 14, though, really kind of hit home because there's been, of course, plenty of times where, you know, I'd want to sleep in and I would feel myself, you know, kind of turning over and snuggling in the covers when I know that I should get up and get some work done. So I'm like, you know, Lord, help me to, <laughs> to not be a lazy sluggard, um, but to get out of bed early in the morning, you know, honor him, praise him and give him um, just a joyful heart and work hard, you know, for the Lord, because he, he has, you know, given us um, health and the ability and power to, you know, do our work as unto him. So those are a few of my favorite verses in this chapter. Um, definitely, you know, praying that the Lord gives me a greater sense and spirit um, of self-discipline, of wisdom and discernment, right? When we're talking to people. And yeah, I would love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite verses? Or if you have any prayer requests, of course, I would love to hear those as well. And as always, please be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful weekend and I will talk with you later. Take care. Bye.